welcome to the news. I mean, it's more of a just general chat and also some of the stories that we've been um, sort of seeing online and wanted to share with you guys. Uh, so I'll go first. Um, there was a great story that I saw on Snapchat um, where they have released two new lenses so these are like the augmented reality lenses that you can put on in the app. Um, and they've teamed up with the World Health Organization. And off the back of that, you can basically work out whether people are keeping the correct social distancing. So, you know, you know, when you're in the parks and you see people coming a little bit close, if you just get this app up, it's sort of you can see a radar on it. And um, if, if, if it's green, it means they're the correct distance away from you. But if it turns red, it means they're too close and they should get away. Uh -huh. Oh, so it's right. really it's quite a nifty way of doing it um and also they have some other filters on there again in collaboration with the world health organization tips on like how to wash your hands and also donating uh money so it, it's um it's a really nice way of seeing how social media are starting to sort of actually get involved on that a little bit more otis um what's caught your eye this week oh so uh remember as a as a child your parents would always say don't play with your food um, there is a Kickstarter that is going to blow that out of the water. Um, so a, a company is looking for funding to build a uh, big building waffle maker. So what this uh, waffle maker, Waffle Iron, does is it creates uh, waffles in the shapes of I guess Lego bricks, so uh, a one by one, a one by two, and a, a one by four, meaning um, while you're eating, you can also get creative and build structures. You can build cars, trucks, palaces, all sorts. I mean, the only limit is your is your imagination, and all with the goodness, depending on your ingredients of a um, of a of a waffle. The company wanted to raise uh, seven and a half thousand dollars, but thanks to donations from uh, around 3,000 uh, investors, they've almost raised $200,000. Amazing. I love it that you could like get creative, like put jam in between the little brick layers. And fruit, and fruit yeah, on yeah. top. It's, it's amazing. Some of the imagery I've seen so far has been fantastic. <laughs> yes. John, how about you? What news have you got? Great news, I think, from BMW in that they're now rediscovering their commitment to produce hydrogen-powered electric vehicles. They've uh, obviously produced battery-powered electric vehicles now for quite some time, but they've announced they're going to produce a prototype hydrogen-powered car in 2022. It's called the BMW iHydrogen Next Concept. It's a collaboration with Toyota using a 170 brake horsepower fuel cell, and uh, they reckon it'll power a range of their cars, including some uh, upmarket X-Drive ones. <laughs> oh, oh, before we wrap, before we wrap, I've got one more quick piece of news that I want to share mm. with both of you and, and with our viewers. Um, the toilet clinic. Get ready for the toilet clinic. So uh, researchers and scientists have unveiled a prototype smart toilet that will analyze your uh, daily patterns uh, using cameras and sensors and stuff and be able to yes, <laughs> and be able to uh, get a judgment on how healthy a lifestyle you're living or whether there are early signs of you know, some form of uh, disease or ailment that might be heading your your way. Yeah. I'm not sure if I want a sort of piece of AI passing judgment on well, what goes on in the bathroom. Uh, apparently, yeah. fecal matter is an absolute font of all types of information uh, about what's going on in, inside your body. And because you won't have to think about it too much or make an appointment with the doctor, and you're doing it every day, some people multiple times a day, there's no such thing as a normal routine, uh, apparently. Um, you will get an update, or your doctors will get an update uh, in real time how your health is going. Anyway, on that delightful note, mm -hmm. uh, I think that draws us to the end of this week's uh, News Roundup. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you stay safe at home. And uh, should we do the same, same again this time next week? Yeah, why not? Why not? Yes. At least we know it's Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> yes. See ya. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye.